Wow, what a um, uh, reversal in the markets yesterday. Um, there was uh, the Fed um, member, one of the FOMC um, members of the Federal Reserve, uh, Preynard, saying that the costs of, um, of an economy which is overheating is not as high as an economy which has been slowed down too soon. So she has made some dovish tones and some dovish statements yesterday and markets relaxed and priced out um, any probabilities, any serious probabilities for a September rate hike. We see that there was a sharp reversal in the Dow Jones Industrial, which has lost a lot, uh, several hundred points uh, on Friday. Now it has regained um, most of that already again. There was a double top forming in the Dow Jones of, uh, Industrials, um, a technical double top target of which has almost been reached yesterday with the lows that have been made in uh, pre-market trading. So, well, technicals speak for themselves. The bearish um, scenario, the double top has been defused. There's been a sharp reversal after they hit the target. And now everybody asks um, rate hike, which rate hike? So for September, nobody really expects that there will be um, a rate hike by the Federal Reserve. Now there is a quiet period until 20, the 20th and 21st um, of uh, September. So next week we will hear the next statements from Janet Yellen. Um, and this will be, if she doesn't act, if she doesn't hike the rates, this will be the last chance for her to hike rates uh, before this um, November elections. The uh, next meeting will be in November, just some days before the um, f before presidential elections. So chances are very low that she will hike in November. So if she doesn't do it in September, there will be several months of low rates. And this environment is actually very positive for stocks because rates will be low for several more months. Now we have uh, China. We saw that there was some repetition starting um, a repetition of what we had in the markets in August of 2015 and in January of this year that traders were building up short positions in the renminbi, short positions in the yuan to bet that there will be interventions by the Chinese government to stem um, the strength in the US dollar. This all has been in uh, connection with the rate hikes and expectations that uh, there will be a September rate hike, which has been uh, the cause of this has been the speech of uh, Mr. Rose and Green from the Federal Reserve. And traders have been building up the most bearish positions on the UN in almost four months because they speculated that there will be interventions by the Chinese government. This morning we see retail numbers and industrial production out of China, which came in better than expected. We see the sharp reversals on Wall Street. We see the pricing out of the September rate hike uh, fears in the market. So there is less need actually for any intervention from the Chinese government. Then we see OPEC, which has actually forecasted um, uh, just by yesterday, or before yesterday, forecasted that there will be a decrease in non-OPEC production. Now they change their forecast to see an increase in non-OPEC production for the whole year of 2017, which uh, the cause of this is a new oil field which is coming on stream later in the year in Kazakhstan. And so we see more bearish uh, signals for the price of oil, price of WTI and Brent is something you should watch because there's still momentum building. There have been, uh, there's been a uh, turn in prices yesterday as well with all the risk assets after the Preynard speech from the Federal Reserve. So there might be something uh, of a trading opportunity there in print and WTI possibly today.